Hello everyone and welcome to the crochet times. Today I am going to show you a very simple, the simplest stitches that you really need to know to make a crochet. Um, I am going to teach you how to make a slip knot and how to make a chain. And then I will teach you how to make a single crochet stitch in that chain. So for this tutorial purpose I am using Alize's Lana Gold yarn. It's a, it's a kind of a thicker yarn so I am using this so that you can see the stitches more clearly and I'm also using a crochet 5 millimeter hook and these are very handy to use these it has a very silicone cover and it gets easier to hold it so let's get started for the tutorial so, so to start the tutorial you have to find the end of your yarn so this will be the end and this will be the working side of the yarn so to make a slip knot just hold the yarn over your palm or fingers like this and then turn it around on your hand and you will have a cross on your hand see like this now take this the working end of the yarn and hold it with your thumb here and use the hook and take the hook below the first line the yarn and then grab the second uh, yarn and then just grab it and you will just pull it and you will have a slip knot on your hook see it's so easy let's do that again take the working end of your yarn like the end of the yarn and take the working end and wrap it around your hand like this you will have a cross on your hand and take it back wrap it around once more and then from uh, take your hook and Put it below your first strand of yarn and grab a second strand of yarn and just pull it pull it while holding the ends of the yarn and you will have a slip knot see it's so easy so now to start the same in the chain stitch you will just grab take the yarn this is the end of yarn you will not use this end and you will use the working end of the yarn hold this knot in your hand and wrap the yarn over your hook and pull it through the stitch now this is the chain one of your hook we do not count this as any chain and this will be the first chain on the hook see this is not a chain this is the first chain now do it again yarn over and pull through second chain yarn over pull through third chain yarn over pull again fourth chain yarn over pull again fifth chain yarn over pull again sixth chain yarn over pull over pull through i think that was six seventh chain one two three four five six seven now again yarn over over pull through yarn over sorry yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so now i have let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so this is the chain this is the chain stitch this is the basic crochet stitch and all your projects will need a chain stitch unless you are using a magic circle we will talk about that in some later tutorials so to make a single crochet the easiest is you you always ignore this this is not a chain all right this is the last chain and you will always ignore this and always make the stitch in the next chain like here but when you make it when you make a crochet product and you stitch on this stitch like this one it gives a very rough end to your project like if I do this single crochet it will give me a very rough edge so you will not do this we will do the tricky thing like not the trick it's a trick not a tricky thing so to make a single crochet you will go back to this stitch like this is the front of the chain you turn it over and go to the back of the chain and there are these small ridges these are equal to the same number that you have in this chains you will just crochet through your very first chain in this stitch in this stitch all right so how to do the first single crochet 
Single crochet is the easiest or the simplest stitch, except the chain stitch of course. You put your you take your hook and put it through this loop, the back loop of the chain. Pull the yarn over your hook and pull it through the first loop. Then grab the yarn again over your hook and pull through both loops. This is the single crochet. Let's do that again. Pull through, put your yarn through the loop in the back of the chain. Then uh, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. All right. Again, put the loop, put the hook through the loop, and then yarn over and pull through. Then yarn over and pull through both loops. Again, yarn over, pull through. Now you have two loops on your hook, and yarn over again and pull through both loops. Let's continue this till the end of the chain. When you are using a thicker yarn, make sure that you use you grab all of these strands of the yarn. Sometimes they get uh, dis uh, they get separated and it gets harder. Not harder, but you can you can ignore it sometimes. So, and this is the last chain on my this is the last stitch on my chain. So, put it through, yarn over, grab the yarn, pull through two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now, this is my first row of single crochet. Now, to start the next row, you will make single chain here, like this, and turn your work. Now, you are going to do the single crochets again, alright? So, you will go under both of these loops now. This, 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 this is the top of the row that you made. And to make the next crochet, you will go under both of these loops, like this and this. These are two loops. Alright, so go under it, then grab the yarn, pull it through, now you have two loops on your hook, and pull it through both loops, now you have single crochet again, now let's do that again, we go under both of these loops, and pull the yarn through, yarn over, and then yarn over, and pull through both loops, now let's try that again. second last chain on my stitch on my row so and this is the last one always count your stitches or um, use a marker to mark the start and the end of the row we have 10 stitches here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so I started with 10 chains and now I have 10 stitches on my chain on my row so to start the next row we chain once and then turn our work and let's start with the second chain the third row this was the first row this was the second row now the third row yarn over pull through
so to close off your stitches like this is my completed for example i wanted to make this this swatch for crochet so to complete off any crochet rows or to finish off the the project you just go to this and pull through this the last stitch and then you will just pull pull it through like this and let me grab my scissors so you will take this and just do this like and cut off the end of your yarn now just won't open so this is secure now you can just sew in your ends and your you have a very pretty lovely crochet stitches and always make sure that you are using the corresponding yarn and hook so that your stitches do not have too much gap and you will always have a very pretty looking crochet project thank you for watching and please if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and please like my video and if you have any comments please leave them in below in the comment section thank you goodbye